Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 45 of ASP.NET Grid View tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss about sorting a grid view that uses object data source control and a data set. We'll be using table TBL employee for this demo. Since we want to use object data source control, we first need to implement employee data access layer. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's add a class file to this project. Let's name it employee data access layer.cs. Now, to encapsulate employee information, uh, we need to first implement employee class. In the interest of time, I have this class already implemented. And this is a very straightforward class with four auto-implemented properties, employee ID, name, gender, and city. Now, we need a method with an employee data access layer class that can retrieve data from this table, TBL employee. So we have to write a bit of ADO.NET code here. So let's go ahead and import the ADO.NET sp namespaces that are required. System.data, system.data, uh, system.data.sql client, and system.configuration. Now let's copy and paste the method itself. And if you look at this method, it's a straightforward method. Look at the return type of the method. It's returning list of employee objects, and it's a static method. Within the method, we are creating an object of type list employee. Using the configuration manager class, we are reading the connection string from web.config file. Using that connection string, we are building SQL connection object. And look at the SQL command. Select star from TBL employee. We are executing the command, and then we are looping through each row and then converting that row into an employee object and adding that employee object to the list and finally returning the list. All right, now let's build the project so that this employee data access layer is compiled. Now let's you know, flip to webform1.aspx. Let's drag and drop a grid view control. Let's auto format this. Let's choose brown sugar scheme. Now let's drag and drop object data source control. Let's configure this. Let's select our business object, employee data access layer. Click next. Select your select method, which is get all employees. Finish. Now let's associate this object data source control with this grid view control. Now notice that I don't get an option. I'll enable sorting or allow sorting. If I mean, in the previous session, we discussed about using SQL data source control. When I associated SQL data source control with the grid view control, I got that option, I love sorting. But then here, I don't have this option. But within the HTML source, let's go ahead and set this option, I love sorting. So let me set that to true. OK, now with this change, let me go ahead and run. And notice that every column, every bound field has got a sort expression as well, meaning the headers within the grid view control will be rendered as hyperlinks. And I can click on them to sort you know, by that column. So if I click on this, look at this. I'm going to get a runtime error. And look at the error. The data source, object data source 1, does not support sorting with I enumerable data. Automatic sorting is only supported with data view, data table, and data set. Okay, so if you look at our method, it's returning, you know, list of employee object. Okay, so for grid view sorting, automatic sorting to work with list of employee, there is there is a workaround. We'll talk about that in a bit, but today we'll solve this using data set. In our next video session, we'll discuss about how to use a list of employee object as the return type of this method and still make it work. So for the time being, to fix this, we actually make this method return a data set instead of list of employee object. And to do that, all I need to do is I'm going to convert the return type to data set. Since I'm returning a data set, I don't need that list of employee object. And then I'm going to use SQL data adapter. Let's call the object as DA. And we can get rid of all this. Let's create a data set object. Data set DS is equal to new data set. And then fill the data set. Finally, return the data set. That's it. 
let's build the solution control shift B to build the project so on the status bar you can see build succeeded now let me run the same thing and see if it's gonna work so obviously when the web form loads you know the hyperlink the column should be rendered as hyperlinks look at that I click on that column once it gets sorted in ascending order first if I click on it again it gets sorted in descending order so automatic sorting is supported now in our next video we'll see how to make this sorting work in spite of the return type being you know a list of employee objects all right on this slide you can find resources for ASP.NET C Sharp and SQL Server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great